George R. R. Martin, or George Railroad Martin, as he's come to be known by some of us, uh, told Conan O'Brien recently in an interview that he writes on a very, very old system. It's not Windows 98, not even Windows 95. It is, well, he writes on, what, WordStar 4.0, as his word processing system, WordStar word was released. WordStar, WordStar, Word. I don't know what that is. Oh, never mind. Is that WorldStar? The internet will like it. Oh, okay. <laughs> sure. Oh, that's that channel where everyone keeps getting beat up. Um, <laughs> this is, it's from the late 70s. Sure. What he's using. Yeah. It, yeah, it's an archaic word processor. It doesn't have spell check. It doesn't autocorrect anything. It's Actually, that's beautiful. the reason why he uses it. He does not like autocorrect, as he said. Well, he said it in a stranger way, which was he didn't like it when it automatically makes a capital letter. If I want to make a capital letter, I'll hit shift. I know how to hit shift, damn it. I was with him, though. I really was. There would be so, because my name is Clark Wolf. Mm -hmm. So every time I type my name, I get red lines. And I'm like, you know what, uh, Microsoft Word, it's not red lines. Those That's red lines you... just mean your name's too badass. And too, you yeah. But I can only imagine if you're trying to type Westeros or Targaryen. How does any fantasy writer use modern word <laughs> exactly. processing? Exactly. I mean, it makes sense. Well, this also may explain why he takes forever to write anything. I don't think that this is an explanation <laughs> <No>. for that. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying it's taking him a long time to write the next book in the, the song and f a Song of Ice and Fire series. Uh, I don't know. Do you think that's prohibitive to writing quickly, or do you think maybe it helps him because he has no distractions? distractions. That's what I was thinking. But clearly, it's not. Clearly, the distractions are not the issue. Yeah, I think I we did a story that he was like, I'm going to take a seg. I'm just going to take a little break, and I'm going to write something else instead of the next <laughs> book that you've all been waiting for in the world. I mean, uh, you've written stuff. I've written. We know how frustrating and difficult it is to just sit down and write. And yes, everyone's waiting for it. And I think that this show lit a fire under his ass. And said, damn it. So, I mean, we're gonna get him. Well, regardless of how fast or how slow he writes, uh, there's a conf it's been confirmed that he sat down with the execs at HBO and said, all right, well, if I die uh, before I finish these books, uh, this is how it ends. Which is a distinct possibility. It considering is. Considering how long he's taking. Uh, but this reminded me another thing that may or may, may be good or may be bad, depending on how you view it. Since his computer is so old, uh, weak, and it's not connected to the internet, nobody can hack into it. So he will never get a computer virus. He this will never get a computer crash. virus, but we will never be able to use our connections to break into his computer and steal the Word files that we want. Ooh. I wonder if he gives his editors like a five and a half inch floppy disk and says, "Here you go. Here's and it's like there's the next thirty great. pages." I have to go to Radio Shack and buy something to make this work now. Radio George R. <laughs> Martin. Maybe that's what the R stands for. Radio Shack. Radio Shack <laughs> rules. Radio Shack Martin. <laughs> Rules with a Z. Right. Sure. Yeah, Naturally. Sure. Naturally. Yeah. Oddly. Sure. Um, would you ever consider writing on such an archaic word processor? I'd probably get a hell of a lot more done. Is this? I know that when I'm sitting there writing my articles, I have to write like 250 words, and I get like 36 in, and I'm like, what's going on on Twitter? What's going I on do that on Delisted right now? And like, you know, it's so. What's going on on TYT? Yeah, that's right. What's Question going marks. on TYT? Stop writing and watch TYT. Yes, Tim? I can only write by typing into a speak and spell and then having a secretary dictate what the speak and spell says. And this is why you're not a writer. <laughs> it's why I'm not a prolific writer. <laughs> That's fair. Oh. At the end of the day, though, I think that the guy is clearly quirky. Mm -hmm. He's clearly uh, he's clearly got a personality all his own. But you know what? Whatever works. Sure. As long as you keep writing, George R. R. Martin. I don't care if you're writing on a on papyrus. Just get it done, turn it in, and well done. I disagree. Write faster, damn it. <laughs> what do you think of George R. R. Martin and his archaic word processor? Would you ever consider such? a thing to do with your writing or is it maybe not the best choice? Let us know below in the comments and please be sure to subscribe.